What is going on? Everybody Triples in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch today. I don't know whether to be excited or a little bummed out. We're gonna find out because Maker's Mark 46 cask strength is back. It's in a new bottle, it's in a new label, but how does it compare to the old one? Let's find out. Now, spoiler alert, I've already opened this. Some of you guys saw my initial reaction of this and not looking promising, just spoiler alert. Hopefully things get better, let's find out. But, you know, I it might be different. So let's get some in the glass and we're gonna compare it to the, you know, original Maker's Mark 46 cash strength and uh, and see how they're different, how they compare, which one's better. Uh, the, the, the new one, you know, it's in the regular old Maker's Mark bottle which is fine. They got rid of the classic store pick style bottle. Um, but the label, I think the label's really nice. I think they did really good with the color scheme. Everything about it looks good. I like it. It caught my eye. I'm all in. Um, again, the difference with this one too is something that was not said on the original 46 cast strength is batch. There is a batch number 2301, which tells me, you know, maybe there's gonna be batch two, three, whatever. Um, this definitely is going to be a thing. They sent an email out. It's going to be a yearly type of release. Shoot, the original Makers 46 was around the entire year. So it was not that hard to find it for being a limited release. Second difference, 110.3 versus uh, the original, which was 109.6, so a little bit higher proof, got the facelift, so let's just see on the nose. Okay, right up front on the nose, really good. Maker's Mark 46, a lot of French, uh, the French oak, that French oak spice is coming through, extra like a, like a red fruit coming through. Definitely smells a little more ethanol-y. It smells way higher proof. Um, I mean, it's only one proof point higher than the first one, but it smells hot. It smells really hot. Overall, from what I remember, my neck pour and the subsequent pours of it was that the nose was a little better than the palate. So. Let's just get right into the palette and then we're gonna compare it to the original just to see what's different about it. So on the palette, see, this is why I like to do this. I like to drink some of it, get my initial thoughts and let it sit for a little bit because it's not as bad as I was thinking it was off of the neck pour. Not gonna lie, I thought it was a total bust. Like, I didn't say that, but I felt it. My taste buds felt it. Let's get the flavors out of the way and then I'll get to what really bugs me. Up front is a light French oak characteristic going on, which is why I'm pretty cool with the Maker's Mark 46. It's not over the top French oak. It's there, definitely lets you know it's there, but it's not completely overpowering. It's like you're still getting this super sweetness that is Maker's Mark with a hint of this extra French oak spice. Really good. Also, a little more fruit than I'm used to getting. A lot of people say they get tons of cherry notes and stuff on Maker's Mark. I don't, I don't really get that note that often. This one is totally red fruit, like a, a fresh picked red juicy cherry super fruity super red i don't know maybe the label is is red i see red i'm getting cranberry cherry craziness the mouthfeel is totally different this is light to me C comparatively to the original and to most makers marks like it's just it doesn't have this super heavy mouthfeel that you're used to getting um, it kind of, it drinks hotter. I think you're getting a lot more ethanol. You're getting a lot more of that proof. You know, it, I feel it all the way down. It's got a nice feel, got a nice Kentucky hug, but the, the, the mouth feel 
is, is if you almost watered down my other maker's mark, which he doesn't drink watered down in the terms of the alcohol, but it drinks watered down in terms of the feel. So it's, it's, it's obvious to me. It's, it's very prevalent, especially, I mean, I'm someone who drinks a lot of maker's mark. It's not as thick as the other ones. We like it thick. Okay, so from here, I think what we should do is pour the original and do a side by side. That way I'm not being too hard on this. I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like it. I think with anything that has a predecessor, something that is, you know, this is batch two, this is the second version, whatever, you're going to start nitpicking it and comparing it to how much you enjoyed the last one. Um, but I just want to do this as a way to show you if you're someone who really liked the first one. I know a lot of people like the Maker's 46 cast drink, the original guy. And I just, I want to set you up to set your expectations up to where they should be. That way you're not getting this and thinking, you know, this is just going to be the same thing in a new bottle. And I, I don't think that's what's happening. Side by side, the two. The original and, or the original's in the black glass, the new one is in this clear glass. <laughs> okay. It's, it's very clear. The original, way, it smells thick. I don't know if that even makes sense to you, but you can smell something and tell, like, if you use a fat-free cheese versus a whole milk cheese and you smell it, it's just like a melted mess, you can tell the difference. I can tell this one's going to be heavy, and I love heavy. Honestly, side by siding them, it's really weird. I'm kind of getting like an oak presence. Maybe I'm getting more of the French oak, but it's definitely, there's a wood characteristic, whereas on the original, it's all diabetes, baby. It's thick, you know, melted candy in a glass. Let's taste them. The, the original, they have those caramel squares. It's literally just a block of caramel and you're supposed to eat it. I, it's kind of crazy. That's what this is, but in liquid form. Very caramel bomb, just so thick in your mouth. <laughs> totally coats it, it's heavy. Super vanilla, sweet forward, awesome. I think this reminds me of like a really good maker's store pick. And then the new dude, again, pretty oaky. I think the French oak's honestly shining through the nose more now. Way less, way, way less mouth coating. This is gonna sound negative. And it, it might be, maybe it should be negative. If you ever drink something like a Benchmark Full Proof or like a, a budget Full Proof, there's not many of them. It's really light but very high proof. That's kind of what this is reminding me of. Just something that's just, I don't know. It didn't have enough time to mature and develop into something more interesting. I just, I feel bad talking crap about this bottle. I, because I like it, I just know some people are gonna go into this and, and really be pissed off. So if you're one of those people, let me know. I've already know there's some of you out there. It's definitely changed. It's not version 2.0 of this. It's its own thing. And I think maybe if you go into that with that mindset, you won't be as offended. It's not like this is bad. I think it's just you're wanting it to be this 2.0, and it's just not. It's, it's not this. It's its own thing. It's totally different. There's not a lot of similarities between the two, honestly. Y you would think Maker's 46 at cast strength, shouldn't it be the same thing? Th it's not. It's definitely not. So you can't go into this thinking it's going to be like that. you got to be open-minded, but don't, don't set the expectations too high. Okay, I, I don't think it's as good as this one. Personally, I'll go ahead and say it. I like this one better. Maybe because it is reminds me of like a really good maker store pick. This one reminds me of something different. Maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe they were going for that and we should give them credit that they wanted to do something different and not just be, you know, 
in the shadow of that one. So that being said, let me know down below what you think of this. I definitely think it's different. It has changed totally, totally different. I'm gonna be interested if you've tried the new one, what you think of it, especially compared to the original guy. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see on, you know, which one you like better, if you agree with me. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, go comment anything, it could be anything. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, turn on the bell notification, check out the Patreon page, all of that good stuff. You know what? You know how to support the Bourbon Ranch. You guys are awesome. Friggin' love you. And until next time, I'm Tribbles, and I will see you in the next video.